To create our pumpkins using value, you're gonna need paper, construction paper, blue, brown, white, and orange. You don't actually need that black, just blue, brown, white, and orange. And I'm gonna start on the back by writing my name. Let's use the blue crayon first. Miss D. Write your name. And I want you to practice something before you turn it over. We're gonna practice pressing really hard, like this with our crayon, and then pressing really lightly, just barely touching our paper like that. Notice this is dark and this is light. That's what you call value. You don't need to write this. But I want you to practice pressing hard and then pressing lightly. We're gonna use that in our artwork today. Turn your paper over. Now, with your blue crayon, find the middle of your paper, come up a little bit, and we're gonna make a letter C down to the other side like this. That's one side of our pumpkin. Go back up to the top and make a backwards letter C going that direction. Think about the ugly pumpkin, it doesn't need to be perfect. Up here on the top, I wanna make this stem. So I'm gonna come out, go up, across, and down. Now, this is the tricky part to make it look like it's three-dimensional. I'm gonna come over to the side and make a curved line that is like another letter C inside that letter C. Then I do it again, another letter C going that direction. And I have room to do another letter C. But when I get to the middle, I'm gonna stop. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Make that backwards letter C going this way. I can do another one. And I think I have room for one more. There's my pumpkin. You should have lines curving out to the left on the left side and out to the right on the right side. Now I'm gonna go find the bottom of my pumpkin, come up a little bit and draw a straight line to the side to show the ground. Because the pumpkin is on the ground, you don't want it to be looking like it's floating above. Imagine that line coming across and coming out the other side. Now we can put our blue away for now and grab our orange. Remember how we pressed hard on the back and lightly? Right next to your blue line, you're gonna press hard with your orange to show areas that are darker. Where those lines are, those are grooves in the pumpkin. Then on the inside, I'm gonna press lightly. Just gently color it in. And let's do that to the next one. Right here, I color really dark next to the line. You don't wanna hurt yourself, but press down kinda hard and then I color lightly on the inside. Let's keep going. Make it kind of dark. Right next to the blue line. Oh, my crayon broke. I was pressing really hard, it's okay and lightly on the inside. Keep going, press hard. And then light right there.
If you're pressing down hard, you might notice that your crayon is going inside your paper. It's okay with me if you wanna peel off your paper like this so that you can get to the rest of the crayon. That's fine. Once you've colored all the orange, now we're gonna take that white and create areas that are even lighter. In the middle of each little space between the blue lines where you colored lightly, you're gonna add a little bit of white right in the middle there, especially closer to the top because we can imagine that light is shining from the top and down at the bottom, it's darker because the pumpkin is blocking the light. Excuse me, the pumpkin is blocking the light. Once you have those areas of light, grab your brown. And because the pumpkin is so wide, this little center part that's down on the ground is gonna be the darkest. I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna cover the color, the bottom part with the brown to make it darker. And I can also use the brown in my stem. I'm gonna color my stem. And I wanna make it darker on the bottom, closer to the pumpkin. I can pick up my white and make the middle lighter. And the last thing we'll do is create a shadow. A shadow is made when there's light shining and an object blocks the light like the pumpkin. So we're gonna use our blue to create our shadows. Right on the bottom here, I'm gonna make a smiley face line, like a half circle right here. That's the shadow. We can imagine the light shining down and there's the shadow on the ground. We're gonna press hard right up against the pumpkin. That's gonna be the darkest part of our shadow because the pumpkin is blocking out and making sure there's no light. The rest of it, we can color kind of lightly. Good job. Now we're showing areas of dark and light in our pumpkin. If you wanna add anything else to your picture, go for it. 